I'm Ben Bowlby, concept originator of the Delta Wing. I'm sorry that I can't be with you in person today, but I'm away testing. Michelin asked me to make a quick video discussion of how the Delta Wing relates to the Michelin Challenge design and the subject of half, lightweight with a passion. The Delta Wing is a racing car. It's going to Le Mans and it's all about half. Half the weight, half the aerodynamic drag, half the horsepower, and in doing so, burning half the fuel and consuming half the tires. Being all about half is nevertheless about still providing the same level of performance and safety as the traditional cars. It's just that we do it a lot more efficiently. There are many parallels between the motorsport industry and the automobile industry. We're both regulated into very tight boxes. The Delta Wing was all about throwing away those regulations in the search for greater efficiency. The ACO, the people that organize the Le Mans 24 Hours, realize that there is a need for showcasing new technology and innovation in the sport. So they created the 56th Garage. And this is a unique place to demonstrate uh, efficiency, new technology, innovation to the public attending the race and on the TV worldwide. Motor racing, of course, is usually about more. More horsepower, more downforce, more complexity. And the Delta Wing is the opposite. It's about less. It's about simplicate and add lightness. It's about reducing the complexity of the car in order to be more efficient. The state of the art Le Mans prototype today is exemplified by the Audi R18 uh, diesel. And of course, that's a car that has around 600 horsepower and weighs well over a thousand kilos when it's in race trim with driver and fuel. The Delta Wing achieves close to the same performance as the Audi, but does it for much, much less fuel consumption and much less tire consumption. The 56th Garage is for a technologically innovative vehicle. It's unclassified, it does not compete for points, it can't win, but it also it can't lose. And so it's a fantastic opportunity to showcase what is possible what could be the next step in racing in the future. Having thrown away the rule book, we had the opportunity to find the most efficient way to create the performance. The car has no wings. Those are an artifact of the 60s. Um, it uses entirely underbody performance at a very high lift to drag ratio to create the downforce. But it only needs half as much downforce because it only weighs half as much. This is a virtuous circle that we've mined until we've reached a car that really does weigh half as much as the traditional cars we're competing with and has this efficiency step as a result. Having reduced the drag by not having wings, we were able to run with much less horsepower. This immediately made the transmission much lighter and the axles, and we needed less tire on the road to transmit the power. Then other components, chassis components, suspension components, uh, even the bodywork itself was able to become lighter because it was supporting lower loads, even though we were going just as fast. One of the really exciting opportunities in this project is bringing together all of these technical partners to create the Nissan Delta Wing shod with Michelin tires. For example, the Michelin tires at the front of the Delta Wing are only four inches wide, which compares extraordinarily to the current front tires on the Audi and Toyota that are actually 14 inches wide. Our rear tires are only 12 and a half inches wide. So it's an absolutely massive reduction in the front tire contact patch. The typical front tire and wheel combination on a current LMP1 car weighs somewhere around 45 pounds, whereas the Delta Wing weighs just under 20. So when viewed as a complete car set, we're somewhere around 100 pounds lighter in our wheels and tire set. In our case, the Delta Wing still uses the safety features of a car that's much heavier. So we have a fantastically safe driver survival cell. It's a full LMP1 chassis that's passed the FIA 2011 regulations. We'll be out there racing wet or dry, rain or shine, night and day um, in this incredibly uh, tough endurance race. And yet the components on the car are much, much lighter and look much more spindly. But of course, they're balanced to the loads. And when you shift the concept, it allows you to change this whole approach and things that previously 
really look, looked impossible become possible. And that's the shift that efficiency can bring. Of course, regulations both in racing and industrially for the auto industry are crucial so that standards are upheld and um, correct practices are adopted. But this is where racing is very exciting because it can actually be a valid showcase of what is possible, bringing in the new technologies, the new materials and bringing them to an automotive application. And this is something that we will be very proud to show with the Delta Wing that we did achieve all of the safety, all of the cost constraints and so on of, a, of an efficient vehicle whilst doing it in a much lighter format. As the road car industry moves towards meeting the sustainability criteria for personal mobility, many questions will be asked about how do we make cars lighter? How do we reduce the aerodynamic drag? How do we reduce waste in order to burn a smaller amount of energy, consume less? And this, I think, is really one of the most interesting challenges that faces this upcoming generation. How to enjoy the standard of living that we've become used to without basically burning our future. One of the most significant ways that we can become more efficient is to consume less material in the manufacture of a car and in the running of a car. And in this case, I think that lightweight with a passion is really the most important concept for this generation. Thank you for giving me the opportunity to tell the story of the Delta Wing. And I hope you follow our progress uh, through the 24 hours of Le Mans uh, that starts in 37 days.